This is a quick and easy demo on how to use embossing paste. We're going to use the translucent embossing paste, and you'll need a palette knife and glitter and low tack tape. So cut your cardstock the size of your stencil or the design you want to use. Place your stencil over the cardstock and then tape it by doing the top first. This will act as your hinge. Then you can do the bottom and both sides. And then apply a generous amount of the translucent embossing paste. Spread it evenly all over the stencil. And now I'm going to gently scrape off the excess paste and recycle it back into the jar. You don't want to scrape too hard or you'll remove too much paste from your design. So just gently go across the top, across the surface. And then put the palette knife in a small plate of water and put the lid back on your embossing paste so that it won't dry out. Now we remove the tape on the sides and the bottom. And I'm going to put the tape on a piece of paper on a paper towel. And I've left the top piece of tape because that's a hinge to be able to carefully remove my stencil. So I gently lift up on it, and then I can pull off the tape, and then the stencil must be put in a plate of water as well to keep the paste from drying out on it. Now we can add glitter. And I'm going to add two colors of glitter. First, I'm going to do the red. I want the center to be gold, so I'm just going to put glitter right where I want it, which is all around the flower, and try not to get the center. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is quickly turn this over so I have an area left over to put the yellow glitter. Quickly drop it. Flick the back, set it aside so we can recycle the red glitter. And now we can add the yellow glitter or the gold glitter to the center. I like art glitter because it's so sparkly. And now all I have to do is turn that upside down, flick the back of it, recycle the gold glitter, put the lid back on that, and then what I do is I let it set overnight. It will become dry within a couple of hours, but just to be safe, I always let it set overnight before I mount it on my cardstock or mat it. And then when it's completely dry, you can mount it on more cardstock, add a ribbon, and you have a finished Christmas card.